Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm at it again. Look at this big pom-pom maker. If you're new or you're watching the replay, welcome to my page. Thank you for watching the replay. And I got this big pom-pom maker today and I'm super excited about it. So I went ahead and started because this thing takes a while to wrap all this yarn around it. So, <laughs> um, so I got started while everybody's talking and we're chatting. Um, Hey, Claudia. Hey, Lenora. I'm going to try to watch comments and wrap this because I kind of have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Hey, Laurie. This big one's a challenge, y'all. Look how big it is. <laughs> y'all think I'm crazy. Hey, Leslie and Norma. Um, but there's a method to my madness. <clears throat> hey, Gina. So, you know, I tell y'all all the time that, um, you know, when I buy a craft supply to make something... I don't want to just use it one time and then throw it to the side. You know, I want to use it a lot. And I have y'all in mind when I do that kind of stuff because, you know, it's like, like I said, you don't want, you know, you want to get the bang for your buck and you want to, you know, you buy something, then you definitely want to use it. So that's why I'm doing all of these, you know, crafts with the pom-pom makers. Hey, Kim and Bertha. Hey, Susan and Ann. Y'all are so sweet to hop on here and join me. Y'all just wanted to see this big monster, didn't you? <laughs> Debbie, it's huge. Okay, so I've already done one, and here it is. <clears throat> I, I did this one earlier, okay? Where's my... Okay, so <laughs> I bought this yarn today <clears throat> at Joann's, okay? And it was pretty big. It was a big skein of yarn, and I made this and two of these and look how much is left <laughs> oh wait and that one <laughs> i made two little ones and two big ones and that's how much is left hey rita yeah myron it is it's way more than 177 rounds and i didn't even count um so i don't even know but it's a lot but funny story is i don't have the first one to show you because it was an epic fail. <laughs> so I got it all wrapped and I was so proud of myself because um, I got it all wrapped and I cut all the little edges and I was so excited. And then I took my yarn and tied it around the middle part. Okay, all was good. Um, and I thought, well, it's all secure, okay? So I took the pom-pom maker apart to release the pom-pom. And all these little pieces of yarn just fell out in my lap. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to gather it all up and, <laughs> and take it to the trash. And I was so upset. I was like, no. So what had happened was when I went to pull the string tight to tie it around, I guess it broke the, str the, broke the yarn. And um, it... Um, Oh, thank you. It was from Walmart, <clears throat> Marsha. Hey, Rhonda. Um, anyway, and so I broke the thing. So when I took it apart, it just fell apart. And so I had all these little pieces of yarn that was this long in my lap. I thought, gosh, looks like I'm trying to do latch hook or something. Um, Y'all remember those latch hook kits that had all those little pieces of yarn? That's what it looked like. So I had to throw it away. And so I was like, I'm not going to let it defeat me because I need to get this done because I'm going to do it on my live tonight. No, I hadn't cut my hair. Um, I didn't cut my hair. Not yet. That happened with you, Tammy? Okay, so I'm not the only one. So this time when I made this one, so I tied it like three times, three different pieces of string, I tied it. Okay, then I carefully took the part, pieces apart to let the pom-pom loose. So I got it out. And then I noticed that it was still loose in there. Like if I jiggled it around too much, that the pieces were going to start falling out. So I cut another piece of yarn and I put it, you know, I kind of dug down in here to see where the original string was. And I just tied another one and got it super tight. And then I tied that off and it made it a lot more snug. But that's the key to the big ones. Cause that, <laughs> my first one was um, a nightmare. I was like, oh no. So yes, this came from Tuesday mornings and look, I have one, another one that's gonna go to one of you. 
what is the size of the pom-pom? This one is five inch and this one is called the Hook Nook. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's the brand. And this is the package. This is what it looks like. But it was $3.99 at Tuesday morning. I was ecstatic. They only had two and I bought both of them. I was like, okay, I'm going to get one for me and one for someone else for some happy mail. Hey, Dee Dee. <clears throat> yeah, it's five inches. It's, it's a big one. It says on the back. I couldn't figure it out. And then finally, oh, wait. Yeah, it's a, it's a little five right there. It looks like a six, but it's a five. So I was, I was so excited to see it. I was like, oh gosh, I gotta have that. <clears throat> Zip tie. You probably could, Vicky. I was, didn't have any right where I was. I was sitting on the couch and doing it. And, uh, Hey, Marianne from New Mexico. So anyway, so the trick to this one though is this. I can't, I can't fill all this in. I can't do it until it's solid across there because it won't close. And I, I'm gonna do it a little more. It looks like the Hungry Caterpillar, doesn't it? <laughs> so this was the skein I started with. So we're gonna see, I haven't used it today at all. <clears throat> Brenda, you've been making them like crazy. Look. Do you see this? This was today. I have a, I literally have a blister on my finger right here from holding the yarn tight while I'm wrapping. So <laughs> I did that today. Um, Vicki, we're going to make something else. We're going to make a couple, maybe three things with them tonight. Um, I just got back from the Tuesday morning and they didn't have them. Yeah. You know, Tuesday morning's kind of hit or miss. It's like they have craft stuff and you just kind of have to go in there and look at what they have. And you never know what you're going to find. And you might not see it again if you don't get it when you see it. Because, you know, they don't. They just have all kinds of closeout stuff. San Diego. Hey, Laura. Okay. So, I'm going to stop here. Just because, like I said, you'll see. It's going to be hard. Where's my baby scissors? Oh, okay. Uh, it's going to be hard to close it. So, I have to kind of, like, pull these apart and get it to close. Because it's so fat. Okay. So if y'all want to count, you can count if you want to. Um, it's a lot. That's all I can say. Have cats. They love to play with pom poms. Darla, I am highly allergic to cats. Like if I go in somebody's house that has a cat, it's, it's my eyes start swelling up and watering and I start sneezing and, but I love cats, but I just can't have one. Okay. So I'm got to get this started. That's the tricky part. And then See, these little things, they want to separate because I guess they're so big. So, I just kind of, I've been doing this. I did this just to kind of hold them together because it doesn't really matter. So, Tuesday morning went out of business there. Oh, no. And they have, I love their napkins. They have cute napkins at um, Tuesday mornings. I just like to go in there. Um, I had to go to Petco today and Petco was right next door to my Tuesday mornings. So of course, you know, I just detoured right next door to Tuesday mornings. Um, hey Sarah, she'd like to have the pom-pom maker. So I was so excited to see it. I was like, uh-uh, I got to get that. And I really wasn't, hadn't decided on what I was going to do live tonight. So I, um, uh, Susan, it came from Tuesday mornings. And it's a five-inch pom-pom maker. Um, you're allergic to cats too, Leslie? Yes, I'm severely allergic to cats. But, um, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do live. And so when I walked in there and I saw this and I was like, lo and behold, I'm doing that tonight. And plus, I've been seeing too that a lot of you are having trouble making them. So, <clears throat> I don't, I don't, um to see if I can help y'all out. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Y'all. So, if, if you're having problems, tell me what you're having problems with. Because somebody said that they it doesn't hold together or they cut it and it falls apart. Dawn, I'm allergic to all kinds of stuff too, so I don't feel like the Lone Ranger. Old Star Trek show with all the trebles. Yeah, all the little <laughs> pom poms. Oh, you don't have a Tuesday morning? Well, believe me, next time I go with that way, I'm definitely going to go in and just see if they have any more. Because I would have bought more if they had if they had more than two. I would have bought more. But um, they had only had two. So, do you do lives every day? 
Uh, Roberta, I only do lives twice a week. Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 Central Time. And y'all, my arm gets tired. <clears throat> I got blisters and my arm gets tired. <laughs> the woes of crafting, right? Um, Susan, they do have an assortment of sizes. I got two of these at, well, I got two sizes at Joann's and then I got the rest of them. But they have them on Amazon. So if you want to, you know, they're on Amazon. Um, and they even, they have sizes I don't even have. They have like smaller ones and, um, bigger ones. And here's the big one. Leslie, I did allergy shots for a while too. And, um, it, it didn't really help me, but I take, I, I take two different kinds of prescription medicine. So <clears throat> yeah, Carla, I'm the same way. I can't. I can't even be in the house if somebody has a cat. I'm like, oh, gosh. Karen, it looks like caterpillars, right? The hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Never been to a Tuesday morning. Wendy, it's kind of like a... Um, it's like a TJ Maxx, but they don't have clothes. They just have, like, home stuff and comforters and towels and frames and house decor and a little furniture. But that's it. They don't have clothes or anything. Three inch, don't have sharp enough scissors to cut it. Yes, um, that's, the, that's the key is cutting the yarn. If you don't have your tip of your scissors are not sharp, it's going to be really hard. <clears throat> Black and orange to make some bingo pie. Oh, cool. That'd be cute decoration for the Super Bowl. I know I'm rooting for the underdog. So are y'all watching the Olympics? Uh, we've been watching the Olympics. Um... And I've stayed up too late to watch the Olympics every night. But I stay up late anyway. Um, so, last night, I wanted to see the men's free skate. Long, long thing or whatever it is. <clears throat> Susan, I, if you've seen the live with, with Lindy and I, you'll know I was sniffing and sneezing and carrying on on the live because I'm allergic to cats. Um, so y'all see how long this takes, right? Um, it's a labor of love. Scissors. They're Tim Holtz. They're little Tim Holtz Ionic, I think we said they were. And they're, they're real little and they, they're real sharp. And so I just snip my yarn. So anyway, so the Olympics. So, oh, Janine, you're watching them now. So I wanted to see the men skate last night. So I wanted to see Nathan Chin. I wanted to see him skate because he was going for the gold and, you know, he's like the best of the best and all this. He's the American. And so I, I stayed up. I watched and, and they did it from the best score. They did it from the lowest score all the way down to the, to the, um, to the high score. So the high score person skated last. So he was last. So I'm sitting on the couch and, and my son was like, Mom, are you going to make it? I'm like, I'm going to try. They only got three more people to skate. Oh, Penny, you're not into the pom-poms. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, anyway, so I get, so I'm sitting there on the couch trying, I'm just like trying to hold my eyes open <clears throat> to watch them skate. Saw the third guy, saw the second guy, got down to Nathan Chin. And I knew it was something to do with Elton John, his music. And I woke up and he was doing this. Like, I'm done. I did good. I'm so excited. He was taking his bows and stuff. And I was like, I saw everybody skate but him. So I had to watch it on YouTube a little bit ago. <laughs> he is. He's amazing. I mean, he is amazing. <clears throat> um, they must be the five inch. So they were gifted to me. Miss Diane gifted them to me. Where's my ruler? All my rulers are over there. Here we go. This little one. They're the five inch. The five inch. Um, so, um, so I miss Nathan Chin. And I had to watch it on YouTube. Oh, your arthritis is terrible today. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. All right. I'm getting close. But y'all see how long this is? It's a lot of yarn for this one big one. <clears throat> you fell asleep too, Shaney? <laughs> And I haven't seen the Winneman skate. I like the skating. That's my that's my favorite part. 
be I love the skating and that's really all I like to see. My husband likes to watch the snowboard and the luge and all that stuff. I like the summer where they do the gymnastics and all that. That's kind of my favorite. Yeah, he did. Marcity hit the skate of his life. He did. He nailed every one of those jumps. And he's jumping that high off the ground and twisting around four times and landing. I, I just, I, I can't even imagine. If you've ever ice skated, you know that it's difficult. <laughs> Much less to go backwards and forwards and switch around and jump up in the air and spin around four times. And I, I can't do it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Hobby Lobby does have uh, Tim Holt scissors in the um, the scrapbook section, his little section. They, they have the scissors because I did see them the other day. Okay, so I'm going to stop. So, y'all don't know if y'all counted. Okay, so y'all wait till y'all see what I'm doing with the green. But isn't it pretty? It's it's Joann's. It's, it was on sale for $3 and something. They have an, their yarn palooza or whatever they call it. And I wanted green, and this was variegated, so I was like, ooh, that's even better. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so see, it's real hard to close it. All right, here we go. So, if this is an epic fail, it's just going to be y'all's funny for today. Thursday's funny, because like I said, earlier when I did it, and I opened it up, it just went all in my lap. Literally, just fell apart in my lap. So, if that happens, we'll just move on plan B, because <laughs> it might happen. Okay, so I'm going to cut a big piece. <clears throat> I'm probably going to cut a, more than one big piece because I'm going to tie it up several times. Yes, Deb, my husband loves curling. He's watching it now where he recorded it because whatever time of the day it comes on, he's not here or night or whatever, and he loves to watch the curling. I I, every time curling comes on, I want to go in there and get my Swiffer and get in the floor and <laughs> start sweeping. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm nerdy like that. Y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, I, got, I already have the smaller ones like this. We've been working on those. If you've watched or go back and watch for like the last couple of weeks, I've made several things with the pom-poms. and Because I, I really did not know that it was going to be that big a deal. And the craft I was doing that night, I used the pom-pom maker. And everybody was so enthralled with the pom-pom makers. And so we just kind of started a trend. We're pom-poming. <laughs> so now we're stuck on pom-poms. And I like to do crafts like when I go purchase something to do a craft with. I don't want to just do it once and then be done. So I'm trying to show y'all all different kinds of ways that we can incorporate this into our crafting and have fun with it. And just do all sorts of different things with the tools that we purchased. So you're not just buying it, using it, and you're done. That kind of thing. Because we can, we can make all kinds of cute stuff. Bunnies and chicks and all kinds of stuff, y'all, with these pom-poms. And y'all probably seen some in the group. <clears throat> Sharon, I want to get my Swiffer out and, and curl in my living room. Because we have concrete, stained concrete floors. <clears throat> so I want to, y'all, excuse me, I feel like I got fur in my throat. But the curling, get the Swiffer out and start... <laughs> I don't understand how they, the circles and the rings and the dots and they have to get it. I don't understand it, but he does. He watches it. Oh, he's going for gold and snowboarding. Oh, that's, that's some, I don't like cold y'all. So, you know, that's, I wouldn't be out there doing any of that stuff, but Nancy's made a bunch of pom-poms. Y'all all have, I saw y'all in the group and y'all I've got a, y'all about like me and got all this little, they keep multiplying. But I sat on the couch and made all of these today because I'm, so I'm going to do something with them. Still making pom-poms. Angie, it's therapeutic. You just sit there and watch the Olympics and you're just, you know. Okay, now, this is where I'm nervous. I'm nervous, y'all, because this has already failed once. Okay, so see? Look how pretty that green is, but I'm real scared. <laughs> I'm going to just tell y'all now. And I got fuzz in my mouth. Okay, so for those of y'all having problems, if this comes goes out good, then all good. But like I said, this one may fall apart, so we'll see. You're going to take your string, your piece of yarn or whatever, and you have this groove in the middle, okay? So you want to put your yarn in that groove, and there's little, crack, little slits in the ends. So you want to put it in those little slits. Okay, so when you pull it, you want to, you don't want the yarn to stay 
on the plastic. You want it to go in between those two pieces, okay? So maybe that uh, <laughs> robo sweeper. Um, so you want it to go in there so where it's against the against the the yarn, okay? So you don't want it to stay on the plastic. You want it to go through the plastic and go up to where the yarn is. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie it. And same thing here, you're gonna tie it in a knot and you wanna make sure it slips down between those two pieces pieces of plastic and it just pops. So I don't know if that's my, um, of that was my yarn or if this was the maker. So we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna tie it more than once because I've learned the hard way today already. I may tie it three times just because. And I may tie it again once I get it out. Hey, Nisi. Yeah, knit a stronger string, but I'm scared it would, like if I did a white string or something, you might would see it, but wait, hold up, what's happening? What I do? Did I twist it? It twisted. Hold on. Okay. Just gonna carry on. So you just kind of pull it tight. And this is like my second one. So normally I just do one on the little pom poms. But because I've already had an epic fail today, I don't want to have a that ain't long enough. I don't want to have another epic fail <laughs> on live on on in front of uh, all of you people. But, you know, it's real life. So, if it happens, it happens. We're going to laugh. We're going to throw it in the garbage. And we'll just continue on with something else. Right? And just say, I wasted that yarn. But, oh, well. <laughs> Double the yarn and tie it. Oh, Janet, that's a good idea. All right. So, this is number three. So, hopefully, three times is a charm. And it's going to hold it. I'm just trying to, trying to carefully do it until I feel like it's tight. Okay. So, all right, here we go. The moment that y'all have all been waiting for. Lord Jesus, please help us. <laughs> okay. Here's one side. Look how pretty. It looks just like I want it to look, what I had planned it for. All right, here we go. Please, Lord, stay together. Okay, so see, that's already, like, basically coming apart. So, here's what the inside looks like. So, for those of y'all that are having trouble tying it, so you're tying all those pieces together. But see, see that hole in the middle? It's still really loose. So I'm going to carefully tie it again and get it tight. Let me make it long. Somebody said make it long. So before I start moving it around, I'm just gonna try to go in where I've already went and see if I can't tighten up that middle a little bit. Because they're going to fall out if I don't. But now the, the smaller ones are not like that. Okay, so see, I closed it up. It just closed right on up. I guess it's just the big ones. It's hard to get that um, yarn tight enough in there. Okay, so now. Whew, it works, y'all. <laughs> There's only a thousand plus watching. Yeah, so if I have a fail, it's, it'll be okay. Oh my goodness. All right, so look how pretty it is. That green, this is the green. Whoop. At Joanne's, but look how pretty it turned out. It, it looks just like I want it to look um, for what I'm going to do with it. Oh, Kathy uses them all the time when you crochet. Okay, I'm just going to quickly give it a haircut now that y'all have watched me wrap it 900 times. Was anybody counting? <laughs> I don't want to trim it too, too much. I'm just going to trim a little bit of the long ones off. Because what I want to do with it is going to look okay if it's not just trim. Myra, look at Myra. She counted 689 times. Goodness gracious. And, and half a skein of yarn. Okay. Look how pretty it is. Okay. So y'all are going to die when you see what I'm going to do with it. Okay, I cannot wait. I've been waiting all day since I bought the makers. Oh, we got a um, happy mail. Somebody wants happy mail. So let's almost just scroll. I'm going to scroll on back. Kathy Patricia Low Pierce. Oh my gosh, she's going to make me write all that down. Kathy, it says, oh my God, look at the size of that. OMG, look at the size of that. <laughs> Kathy. That's funny. Kathy, Patricia, Lowe, P. 
pierce. So message me when we get done and this will come to your house. And somebody said, yes, your arms get a workout. It does, especially with this large one. Pom-pom with a Swiffer and curl. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this is what I want to do. Okay, y'all see this? And I have this. So, y'all already know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> oh, good, Patsy. You got them. Okay. Yeah, a few months late, but you got them. Okay. So, two things. Well, there's two ways I want to do this. You can either just... And we're good. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay. So, you can either just do that. You could paint the pot. You could put the split balls all around the top. You could put rope around the top. Um, so, you, and you could do this. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to... Ta-da! We're going to make a topiary. I got. I went outside free. Got some sticks. Um... So anyway, so I'm trying to see what's going to be my best bet. Bonnie, I'm going to keep looking and see if I can't find them again. The big ones. <laughs> Pat, that's one giant pom-pom. It is. Okay, so I'm going to cut my... I say I am. <clears throat> that's a tough little tree there. Come on. Even with these things, y'all, I don't know if I can cut it. I just went outside and pulled them off my, some of my bushes and my crepe myrtles and stuff. Goodness. That's like a hardwood tree. It won't cut. Come on. So I'm just cutting all these little side little um, things. Hey, Andrea, happy Thursday. We're making pom-poms again. They're probably, people are probably scrolling by going, oh my gosh, she's making pom-poms again. Why don't she get off the pom-poms already? But you know what? They make everybody happy, right? Because look, y'all, we're going to do something with all of these. So y'all just hang tight. Um, so I've got this one to tell y'all about too. So I'm going to put, I know it's going to be kind of lean in a little bit, but it doesn't need to look perfect. Yes, you got to get it out and play with it, Angela. Okay. Where's my styrofoam? Here it is. All right, so I'm going to cut this down. This this yarn is really pretty. It is really... An, it was perfect for what I needed because I wanted all those little different variegated shades like, like leaves look. Not just, um, you know, one solid green. Zip tie and works awesome. Oh, Okay, and I will tell y'all too, me, with me making them just as many as y'all have made probably, um, that it, I will say that um, um, if you, when you're wrapping your, your yarn around the, the little arm parts, if you will pull it tight while you're doing it and pull it really tight, it will make the yarn and the pom-pom kind of, uh, I don't know, it's not fuller, but it will make it, um, Wanda is five inches. It will make it, the pom-poms closer together to where it's a little bit more um, sturdy. I don't, I don't know what the word is, but if you'll pull it taut while you're doing it, that's why I have a blister on my finger. <laughs> um, I got the large one from Tuesday mornings and it was just kind of one of those things I just happened to go in there and they had two of them and I was like oh jackpot now they probably have the big one on Amazon I haven't even looked oh this stuff is like cutting toast I don't know it sounds kind of like toast or something <laughs> and it makes a mess but I want to put it in my pot now I can't get it out. <laughs> yeah, it was $3.99 at Tuesday mornings, and they had two. Hey, Charlene. Okay. I'll cut a little more off and get it. try to get it to fit. I'm getting there. Cut that off. Yes, perfect. Oh, you have this same shirt? It came from Walmart. I wish they had it in 10 colors because I love it too, and it's really soft. 
Um, but they only have it in this print, and I was, or they have solids, but I like the print, the leopard. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut a hole in my styrofoam. Hey, Diane, welcome back. If you haven't seen me in a while, glad you're here. Hey, April. Okay. Hey, Monica, thank you. Okay, so I'm just putting my styrofoam. That was just Dollar Tree, one of those Dollar Tree things. I have some of this too, but I had a big piece of this and I just kind of cut it to fit as y'all could see in here and all that stuff. Um, Teresa, it may be, if you're on a tablet, everybody's saying the tablets are freezing up. Wanda, the pom-pom maker came from Tuesday mornings. I just stumbled upon it today and I was like, ah! y'all gold beams of light were radiating around it when I saw it. Like, oh, the angels were singing and I was like, it's a pom-pom maker, it's a gigantic one. It gave you goosebumps, Jane, it does me too. It's like, <laughs> okay, where's my stick? Where is my trunk? Oh, here it is, <laughs> trunk of my tree. Okay, well, you know what? I'm trying to think, what's gonna be better? Putting this on it first, or let me see if, if my hole's gonna be. Um, y'all, I know that's hurting y'all's ears. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I just gotta see if it's gonna be proportional. Okay. You buy it from the manufacturer. This brand is called The Hook Nook. I've never heard of it. Must be some kind of yarn or crochet place. Um, okay, so I'm going to, I was like, please tell me this is hot. Maybe I should put it in my thing first. Okay, so I'm gonna fill the pom-pom. And you know, there's a part, you, you imagine that string is around it like this. So that's what I'm feeling for. I don't wanna put it where the string is. I wanna put it, in the middle where the inside the little circle of your string oh you need the five for your collection <laughs> you have a collection i'm growing a collection obviously and a growing collection of of pom-poms so let's see i'm gonna so i made a little hole right there and i'm just going i'm winging it because y'all don't know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna put some glue on my little branch and we're just gonna stick it in there and let it sit there for a second. Yes, it's huge. It's five inches. I was like, how big is that thing? And I couldn't find it on the front, but then I flipped it to the back and it was set at five inches. So Amazon, Amazon has extra large for $6.99. But like I said, y'all be careful when you do it the very first time, if you get one and you do it the first time. Um, like I said, my stream broke and when I opened it up, it was nothing but yarn everywhere. And there's nothing I could do. I had to just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> um, I'm sure I could have saved it for something, but it was all in my lap. And I was like, okay, what do I do? And so, so tie it more than one time, like three strings. And then when you get it out, you'll, you'll know because it's going to feel loose. Don't jiggle it around. You know, set it down like I did and then tie it again and pull it really tight because um, it's going to fall apart if you don't. Okay, look at how sticky it's gonna be. Look at my little topiary. And I'll tell y'all about topiaries, and I've said this before. Y'all know my friend Deidre was my best friend. She passed away in April. And we loved, we went through that phase of we love topiary trees. Well, she couldn't say topiary. She would call them toeberry trees. So she would say, you know, that cute little toeberry tree that we saw. And I'm like, I would laugh every time. So, y'all, I can't, sometimes I can't even say topiary because I say toeberry. Because that's what we, I started calling them because she would always say toeberry tree. And it's a toeberry tree. And I said it one time on a live. I talked about it one time on here. And she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you told all those people that. Um, so, yeah, zip ties. I'm definitely going to have to try the zip ties. Since y'all are all saying that it works, I'm definitely going to have to try it. But I wanted my pot to look like this. I don't know about y'all, but you could definitely paint it, distress it, put the split balls on it. But I kind of like the cut the terracotta. But now I may change my mind and sleep on it and and, um, and paint it. Who knows? But I'm letting the glue set up real quick. 
Isn't it cute though? It's kind of me so cute. And I mean, it's kind of like leaning to the side, but that to me makes it look like it's that much real. Oh no, you're crafting now. You're out of work. Well, I hope he's okay. Amazon has one six ninety nine, but you have to order two. Well, y'all can just find somebody and y'all share. <laughs> Carrie had to buy two. Y'all just team up with somebody and uh, and gift it away to a friend and give them a skein of yarn. Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm gonna let it. Um, this is not. Any other time it would be, that glue would set up like that. It's just sitting here. Oh, they have a website. Cool. This says AmericanCrafts.com is what this says. And it has their address, but they have their website. But it says American Crafts. And then right above that in that tiny writing, it says AmericanCrafts.com. Made in China. So, I've never heard of the hook nook. Okay, look. It's, it's still bubbling. <laughs> it's that styrofoam. Yeah, I wondered about the zip tie too, but I'm going to have to try that. Definitely, because, you know, my string, like I said, I had a fail. But doesn't it look like a little, um, what are those bushes called? Boxwood. That's what I'm trying to say. Amazon has super jumbo. Oh my goodness, gosh. Penny, how big is it? What color green? It just says green tones. Green tones. But it's the Red Heart Super Saver. And that Joann's has those on sale right now. That's the only reason I got it. Because I didn't want to spend $9 on a skein of yarn. <laughs> I'm just practical, y'all. So, I, that's probably the cheapest one they have in the store. And they had the variegated, so I was all excited because I thought that's going to be perfect for what I want to do with it. Look how stinking adorable my little tree is. Okay, we're not done, though. i got to break this out. Y'all know I don't like this. <laughs> Mine's a jumbo, and so they have a they have a size up from that. Goodness gracious. Hey, Jennifer. Variegated. Yeah, it just says green tones, and then it's in Spanish. Okay, but look how stinking cute. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this and I'm just going to put it in my pot. And like I said, I may end up painting my pot after I've looked at it a few days. Um, and put you some little moss down in there. Look how stinking cute. And you can do this on a small scale. You know, if you want to make the smaller pom-pom like this little pot at Dollar Tree, there's two, three in a pack, I think. Yes, three in a pack at Dollar Tree. Um, you could do this size, which is the three, I think it's the, is this the biggest one of the set? Yes, it is. That's the biggest one of all of that set that we all got of these. And look, it would be proportional to that pot. It'd be perfect. Okay. So here's another idea. Where'd I put them? They're right here in front of me. Oh, okay. So I did buy these at Dollar Tree today because I wanted to show y'all. You know, I told you about the peat pots, and I had that little, I posted that video the other day about them. These are Dollar Tree ones, and they're little um, compared to, this is the ones that I craft with. These came from Walmart, I think, but you can see the size, but still, these are adorable, y'all, for Easter and stuff, and we can craft with them. So, I bought some, because I know I'm, I'm probably going to do some, but for a dollar, and you get 12 in here for a dollar. Let me see if I can get one out. But you could get some of these and use these for your for your pom-poms. Look how little cute those little trees would be. Oh my goodness. Even if they're not green, but look how cute. And paint these and put stuff on them and little cut print out some little bunnies and put bunnies on them. Oh, we just we got to do it. But I thought they were so cute because I didn't realize they were that small. Um, but that's just some ideas of what you can do. And I have a hot mess on this table with um with these but look at how cute if you wanted to tie a little ribbon around here you could put you some little uh fairy lights in it that would be cute Teresa this one is a five inch pom-pom five inch pom-pom maker Carol I think I'm doing the bingles because I because I'm doing the underdog 
Oh, Kim, you just ordered this color yesterday. Isn't that cute? It's kind of leaning, but you know, it looks okay to me. Kind of make him over that way. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next thing that we're going to do. Okay, stay there. <laughs> Don't fall apart. <laughs> the topiary trees, yes, because years ago, the topiary trees were all the rage. But wouldn't it look cute if you did a double one? You know how they have those trees that have a ball and then has, you see this trunk and then has another ball at the top? Oh my gosh, that might be heavy though. You thought of the Lorax trees? Oh, you're, get ready for this one because you really are going to think this. Okay, so I want to bamboo skewers because I did see something similar to this on Pinterest. Um... But I made mine all funky colors. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta trim off my... I did trim these up, and why I didn't cut these strings, I don't know. So, these are bamboo skewers. These are heavy-duty ones, I guess. I got these, I think, at Kroger, the grocery store. So, they are a little bigger than the Dollar Tree ones. But, whatever you want to um, use... Amazon had jumbo ones for $17.99. Holy cow. So this is what I'm going to do with mine. Like, I'm going to stick the pointy end in there. That way, you know, we're not having anything dangerous going on. Let's see. Let me hold this over. I'm going to put just a little glue just so they won't go anywhere. So if you have a whole team of pom-poms at your house, <laughs> here's you some ideas. Am I in Tennessee? No, I'm in Mississippi, but I'm right below Tennessee. I can be in Tennessee in like 15 minutes. Um, right below Memphis. Okay. Dollar Tree. Ta-da! Okay. So that's what I want to do with all of the ones I have um, left. And I haven't trimmed this one. These little scissors are so sharp and they're awesome. Miss Diane was a gem for sending them to me. Pea pots in half and wrap with, yes, I did, um, I, the video I put up the other day, it was, um, I'm actually going to break this one, um, it was, um, um, I just lost my train of thought, <laughs> I did a beehive, that's what I was trying to say, if y'all want to see this cup, Dana, my, my moderator, she's somewhere in the comments, I think, she makes these, so you can message her, and she'll tell you all about them. Look at the little bees on him. Isn't he cute? Y'all love it. Love him. So cute. Yes, you could use that galvanized bucket. Everything. So, I'm, I'm just trying to make these different heights. Um. Yes, Darlene, that's what somebody said a minute ago to make some black and orange for the bingles. But I'm going to show you something I did today. I was just kind of playing around with the pom-pom yarn and the makers and stuff, and I'm going to show you what I did. But see, I'm going to put all of mine like this, and I'm probably going to do something to this bottle. Okay, so I was playing around today, and I'm going to trim it while I'm talking. So on this one, it's kind of like, it's supposed to be polka dotted, but it's not. It ended up kind of being striped. Um, so I put down a layer of white, like a good layer of white on the little arm part. Ah, stuff's falling off the table. Hold on. I think I used this one, which is three and a, three and three eighths, I think. Okay. So like I put down a whole layer of white and then I cut it. And then I took that blue that we, um, my big pom-pom is made of this blue. And then I did a little here. I did a little here, you know, did, you know, like a layer and then a layer. And then I did white on top of it. And I did that on both sides. And this is what I ended up with. Um, but if you wanted to do the bingles, you could do it the way I did this and do orange and then do black stripes or whatever. That would look super cute. But that's how it turned out. That would be really cute. But if y'all go on Pinterest... And I'm not even kidding. Go to Pinterest and look up like, I don't even know what to look up because I've just seen it in my feed. But um, let's do, I'm trying to see how much I broke off that one. 
Um, I'm just making them different heights. That's why I'm breaking the stick. Yes, the yellow looks like a dandelion. Um, yeah, I, and I can. I can show how to make them again. I can use one of the little ones and it won't take as long <laughs> as the big one. Um, let me get that in there. So I'll hold it on there. Okay. Look. <laughs> is that cute? It's like a peachy color. See, when I get up close, it changes the color, but this is what color it is. It's like peach. Look how stinking cute it is. And all this yarn, like, most of this is, is this is what I, I bought this. To, did I buy that today? Yeah, I did buy that blue today. This is Dollar Tree yarn. This is Dollar Tree yarn. This is Dollar Tree. You know, the little, the little, bun, like this. That's what this is. See, here's the pink. So, like I said, when I go to Dollar Tree and I see a color, like the holidays coming up, like Christmas or, um, I'll leave this one long. Holiday Christmas is coming up or Easter and I don't think I have that color, I'll just get it because it's only a dollar. Well, now it's a dollar twenty-five. But you know what I mean. Because I know I'll end up using it. Why in two colors at the same time? Kathy, I need to do that. Now, see, you're going to have me up tonight making pom-poms watching the Olympics. <laughs> And this green, this is, um, this is Dollar Tree as well. Um, I, Sue, I love me some Pinterest too. I don't know what I'd do without Pinterest sometimes. Like, you go down that rabbit hole of, um, of looking at all this stuff and it's like, the next thing you know, an hour's pass and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Looking at all these recipes and then you go and order a pizza. Because <laughs> I ain't got time to cook because I've been looking at Pinterest. Yours don't have yarn, Robin? Oh, see, it's just hit or miss sometimes. Y'all, this is stinking adorable. Um, and you can just keep adding to it. And like I said, I have, I could keep going on, y'all. I'm kind of, oh, we ought to do a purple one. Um, they just look so cute and happy. But you could tie a little ribbon around here and make this so cute. Let's see. All right. Hang on. So if it's going to be in there and I want it to be, I'm trying to make them all different. Okay. So I'm just using the pointy end just because it goes up in the pom pom better. Just the point, this, this pointy end. And if they were smaller, it would probably go in there better too, but the sticks, but hey, Peg. Okay, look at how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Look, <laughs> that just makes me happy. Just all the colors together. And then tie a cute little ribbon around here. It's adorable. Okay, so we're, so I wanna do that, but I got a different version. <laughs> Y'all know I got happy today with the pom poms. We're gonna do neutral. This is Dollar Tree. The white's Dollar Tree. But look, at I love this color. This is like a bunny rabbit color. You could, Yes, you could paint the stems. You could. And, oh, yeah, that would look cute. Mona Lisa, that would look cute. with. You could put jelly beans or eggs or whatever you wanted to. That vase filler they have at um, Dollar Tree. That would be pretty if you put that down in there. Um, let's see. White. Y'all, I got so much on this table. And I have gray. Okay. I got to trim these, though. Dr. Zeus's birthday is March 22nd. Ah! I have to do a, have to do a Lorax tree. Easter. Yeah, you could put them on your Easter tree. Yes, that would be so cute. Do you, um... Y'all have Easter trees? Have y'all left y'all's trees up for Valentine's? And then now you're going to do spring and Easter? I don't do that, but... I kind of sometimes wish I would, but doing all of this is <laughs> it's hard to keep up with what um, what holiday it is at the moment. You said happy now, and I'm seeing faces on the bottom. <laughs> she gonna put little eyes on them? <laughs> okay, so let's see. So you could do neutral because I did the colors, and I thought, hmm, what if you wanted to just do a neutral set? And then I've seen people say that the 
Pom Pom Makers are at Dollar Tree. Have y'all seen those? I don't know, trim it. Okay. So see, you could definitely do neutral. Oh, the white gravel, Linda. Yes. What kind of scissors? They're Tim Holtz um, Ionic scissors. They were gifted to me by Miss Diane that's on here somewhere. So, um, paint the vase and go over it with wax. Yes, Donna, there's so much you could do. I just picked it up today because I didn't know. I have tons of glass. That's a whole nother thing. I love jars and stuff. And I was like, I just need something in a hurry because I didn't know if I could get over there to it and if I would have time today to do it. So I just grabbed it at the Dollar Tree. Miniature eggs, yes. But look how pretty just the neutrals would be if you just did and didn't do colors. Um, Cause I just wanted to give y'all some ideas about, um, yeah, decoupage it so you won't see the sticks. But y'all, I saw a bunch of stuff on um, Pinterest and they had it like vases with the, this kind of stuff in it. And you could see the sticks and it was really cute how they had it done. I was like, oh. Cause you know, I've been looking up some pom-pom stuff. There's some folks that can get, they get savvy with it. I'm telling you, they make all kinds of different pom-poms with flowers in them. And I'm like, oh my goodness, gosh. <laughs> Your Dollar Tree is small. Well, I go to a bigger one and that's on the suburbs of Memphis. And it's a model store. That's what she told me the other day when I was there. And, um, I was like, yeah, it is, because they have all kinds of stuff in there. Pom-pom garland, yes, 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 so much stuff. But look how just cute the neutral is. I love the neutral, too. Dollar Tree has three. See, I've not seen them yet. I have not, not seen them yet. She still has hers in her bag. <laughs> oh. oh, wrong end, but oh, well to put it on the pointy end but because it goes in better so i've debbie i i haven't either but i've seen people show them and i've seen them on facebook or somewhere about the different pom-pom makers i saw yeah i've seen the ballerina it's like some of that stuff it looks like uh, i might could attempt it but you know yeah, I like seeing the neutral sticks too, especially on this one, especially on this one. But the colored ones, you definitely, you can get creative with it. You could put stripes down them or something like that. Okay, a fabric flowers and pom-poms. Yes, so cute. Let's move this around. See, look how cute the neutral is. So I just couldn't, I was like, okay, because I have all this yarn and it's like, okay, I need to do something with it. So I just got out all the colors and started doing all the things. Gold, green, and white. Animals, Dana. Some of them people, I'm telling you, they are like savage with the animals. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> my, my panda bear would look all like, he would be all like this with his eyes. <laughs> Some of them are just like exquisite. Chicks, bunnies, and bees. Yeah, Nancy, I need to try the bee. I want to try the bee and do it striped. I, I need to try it, but I got to figure I got to figure it out. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm okay, now I got something else for you. So, I got this. This is green from Dollar Tree. And um, I saw this on Pinterest, too. So, what I'm going to do is I want it to be a cactus. So, I'm going to try to trim it. We're going to try... To trim it to look like a cactus I don't know how that's gonna go but we're gonna try so this may be a fail but it'd be okay yes you could put this cut the striped straws that would be really cute so I'm gonna try to get it narrow try keyword being try y'all I don't know but I saw some on Pinterest that were cactuses and I was like oh my goodness it's so cute so we're gonna try after I have all this green fuzz. Trying to be uh, not be scared, and I'm cutting a lot to make it kind of skinny. <laughs> He's 
It's getting a big haircut. Hey, Diane. Oh, yeah, red, white, and blue for the fourth. That would be cute if we could figure out how to stripe it. Hey, Barb, you're okay. Getting narrow, y'all. <laughs> getting there. It's getting skinny. Skinnier. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of this green left. I, um, I used a lot of it today, and it's like one of my favorite colors. Y'all, let me get skinny. <laughs> I don't even look like a pom-pom anymore. Can I just tell y'all that stuff is like flying all around? It's insane. I'm surprised I'm not sneezing. Goodness. I'm trying to get it to... Y'all know what I'm trying to make it look like? A little, not a cone, but a cylinder shape. I didn't even cut the bottom. Y'all, it's just fuzz everywhere. Okay. So, see, I want it to be in the pot like a little cactus. See? B, I saw that too, where they put the cardboard over it, and then they um, they cut around the cardboard, and it makes a heart. I'm probably going to cut this so much, it's going to fall apart. <laughs> I hope not. I'm getting there. Look, I have, look at, look on the table. He's going into the army. He's getting the military haircut. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I gotta put something down in there. Hold on. Where's my green foam? Okay. I could put all that down in there. It would hold him up probably. Hey, Tina. So I'm just gonna put some foam. <laughs> foam in here. Ugh. Okay. Does it look like a cactus? <laughs> hey, Renee. Y'all, I'm telling you. It is like, I trimmed a lot of these outside today. It was nice here. And I trimmed, I went outside and cut it over a box, all these pom-poms and trimmed them. Cause this fuzz just flies everywhere. Uh, you love the neutral? I do too. Look at this. Let's put them. Let's put them all in there. See, the more you have, the better it's gonna look to me. Uh oh, where'd they all go? Where'd they go? Is that all of them? We just put them all in there. Did I have a green one? I didn't do a green one. Ugh, y'all. <laughs> Janice, can I see your comments? I see your comment. I don't know about. Oh, oh, yeah, I could throw this in a vase for filler. That would look cool. Look, it's just like fibers. <laughs> okay. It does look like a cactus? I hope so. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it skinny. Y'all are hanging in there watching me wrap yarn and cut uh, pom-poms into a cactus. <laughs> Y'all are troopers. Hey, Jeannie. Okay. So I'm kind of leaving the bottom kind of big so it'll have something to sit on. Should I put moss in there too? Look at it. It looks like a little cactus. You're Swiffer and cut up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to practice curling in the living room with my, uh, my uh, Swiffer. Easter egg, yes, you could trim it in the form of a, in the shape of an Easter egg. Um, I don't know why I picked that up and started cutting. Um, he kind of looks like Oscar the Grouch, <clears throat> but the picture I saw on Pinterest they had, I'm trying to find a pink. 
they had a little bitty pom-pom and they stuck it on the side. You know how they had those little flowers on the cactus? Yes, Debbie. I was going to tell y'all that. If you have chenille yarn, hold on. Let me grab some. If you have chenille yarn, okay, from the Dollar Tree, I, I, I had told myself that I was going to tell y'all this. Any kind of chenille yarn, you know, it's that, it, it's kind of uh, fuzzy and soft. It's real soft stuff. This stuff sheds like nobody's business. When you cut the end, it's just going to constantly shed like this and you have a string. It's just going to constantly do it. It's, there's no way to stop it, especially when you have all these little ends. They're just going to shred, you know, come off and you have a string. So don't use this. And I saw somebody in the group said they used it and it was went everywhere and it will. And trust me, <laughs> trust me when I tell you that it doesn't work for pom poms <laughs> um, because it will be, it will just, it will just um, shed and just constantly fray or whatever. Look at my little cactus. Pink one. And yeah, I need to make a tiny pink one, but if somebody wanted me to show them, how to do it anyway. Let me see. Where's that? Oh, yep. This is the color I want. This is not red. It's that it's that pink that looks red. And we'll do it with that. And I'll cut it down small. I'm the queen of pom <laughs> I can never see this on time. Oh, you're fine. You can always watch the replay. Okay. So... This is Dollar Tree as well. Like I said, I have a ton of these Dollar Tree ones because I know I can always use it for something and it'll be there when I need it. No moss. Rocks. Oh, yeah, I need some rocks. That would look cute. Okay, so this is the little bitty one. So you put your pieces together <clears throat> and then you have two little arms like this, okay? And you're going to put them together. And so, you're going to wrap your thread, your yarn, around this little U part, the little circle part. Um, so, you're going to just start wrapping. And this one will go pretty quickly because it's so small. Um, but you're just going to constantly wrap around that little rainbow-looking arch thing. They call it the arms or something. Um, and you're just going to go all the way down and just keep going. And somebody on here told me to, to you have a flat. I said it was a fat caterpillar. And they said, no, do it till it's flat. So that's what I've been doing. But if you pull it tight while you're doing, wrapping it, your pom-poms are going to look a lot better. Because I have found that out too. <laughs> it's going to be T90. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so if you'll just kind of pull it taut, real tight while you're wrapping, they just look better. I have found that out too. Okay. So I cut mine right here. Some people don't. I just snip it and then I close it up. So there you go. You got that side done. It looks like this. So here's our other two little arms. And you just you just start your I just hold it. I hold my finger on the yarn and I get it started. And then you just wrap all the way around. Both of those little arms are together. And you just wrap, wrap, wrap. Yeah, I can make these little ones all day long <laughs> because they don't take no time. That big one took forever. I say T92, whoever just said that. That's, I have always said that's just T90, meaning it's little, it's tiny. But that's just what I say. So Kaylee's making fun of me. Uh, Billy, it is a pom-pom maker. It is this. And it makes these. We've been having lots of fun here. If you want to look back at the last several videos I've done, we've made a lot of pom-poms. <laughs> um, so anyway, but you can go back and watch the replay because I made a gigantic one in the beginning in my little tree, and it's kind of leaning to the side. Look how stinking cute my tree is. I'm so excited over my tree. Look how pretty that yarn is. My little tree is so cute. Okay. So I've gotten it all the way, you know, till it's flat. So I'm going to bring my piece up to the top and then I'm going to cut it and then I'll close it. So there it is. 
So now this is where the, sh the little sharp ended scissors come in. Cause if your scissors aren't sharp on the tips, this is going to be a hard part. Um, <laughs> Tammy, your mom says it too. It must be a Southern thing. I don't know. It must be. Okay. So you have these little slits right here in your maker part, in your maker tool thing. And you're going to put your scissors right there and you're going to start snipping. It's got like a little groove in there where your scissors go. So it looks like that. And then you just snip all the way across and then it'll look like this. You don't open it yet. Tracy, it kind of does take a little bit of practice, especially, whoop, it came open, especially the trimming part. I, to get it round, it's kind of hard sometimes. But just beware, if you sit on the couch and you trim your pom-poms, you're gonna have fuzz all over you, all over your pants, all over the couch, it's gonna be flying around. So I went outside today and did mine. Okay, so I've cut both sides and then you're gonna take a piece of your yarn. If you're making the big one, do this, do three of these because trust me, I've already thrown one in the garbage today. And you're going to put that yarn around this little this little groove right here. So you're gonna go around it like that till you have it. It looks like a yo-yo, because so that it's in the middle. See, it's in that little groove. You can kind of you can see my yarn there in that groove okay so i cross my pieces well no i don't i don't cross it first i just kind of pull on it and you'll know it'll slide down in between those two pieces of plastic okay it's going to slide down in between there you won't be able to see it anymore um hey sandra okay and so i take my pieces and i tie it in a couple of knots green fuzz is everywhere um and I'm gonna tie a knot and it goes down in the between the plastic again. It doesn't sit on the top of the plastic, it goes in between there because you're tying all those pieces of yarn together. Okay, now, so I got that tied, tied it twice. So then you just lift up your little, the little arms or whatever they call them and flip them back. And then you pull your pieces apart and you have this little bitty pom-pom. But see, it's got little hairs going all different directions. So. I'm gonna trim this one's really small anyway because it's gonna go on my cactus. But you just kind of trim it up and the way you want it to look round. But I'm trimming this a lot because I want it small, smaller than it is. I don't have a, a smaller maker, but somebody said there's there's two sizes down from this one. I can't even imagine wrapping that little thing. I thought the big one was bad, but my goodness, the small one would be hard because it's hard for me to hold it in my hand. It's so small. Oh, I'm just continuing to cut and I feel like it's going to come apart. It may come apart. I may cut it way too much, but we're going to see. See? <laughs> I love this color though. All right. So yeah, we're gonna make some, I wanna make some bunnies and I wanna make some chicks. So if y'all ain't into the pom-poms, then <laughs> y'all might not like me. I might need a bigger, I might, yeah. I didn't have a lot of green, like, I don't even know where my green is. That other green, and I didn't wanna use this green because I wanted y'all to see how much yarn it took for one. So I didn't wanna use this the skein before I came live. So that's why I didn't use it on my cactus. Okay. Ooh, y'all. Look how cute it's gonna be. <laughs> I have, I'm gonna have to get my shop back over here and clean all this out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put me some rocks in there, like little pea gravel, and put, put, in, put my rocks down in there. And then put my little, y'all think that's okay? Woo, he's got pink fuzz on him. He needs some eyes, doesn't he? I know, Pamela, I need to do bunnies and chicks. I, I gotta practice and do those. The clover doesn't make the five inch. Yeah, Tammy, it's gonna be 70 here tomorrow. And then Saturday, it's gonna be 40 degrees. 30 degree, 
uh, difference in temperature. Welcome to the South. That's how we roll around here. If you don't like the temperature today, hang around because tomorrow it's going to be different. <laughs> Yes, tomorrow I'll have the door open. I'll be in here working and it's going to feel so great outside. And then Saturday I'll be bundled up in a coat and everything else. Okay. Look at how cute. <laughs> Come on, cactus. Just pipe cleaners. Oh, that'd be cool. He needs some little eyes, y'all. Hold on. I don't have any... Um. need some eyes. Eyes would be awesome, Chelsea said. Yes! Everything needs googly eyes or something, right? Okay, so y'all know what these are. There's little pins, but they're not, I don't have any black ones, so let me find my Sharpie. Yes, Pamela, the, I, I need to get my, um, it's a Sharpie. I need to get my pet brush and try to brush one and see what happens. I told y'all I was going to do that to that tassel, and I still have not done it. When the, the tassel, that tassel that I made like that, I need to brush it and see what happens. Okay, look, I colored it black. All right, it's going to have to sit here and dry. Windows open the day, going to have cold again. Ugh, I know, Shirley. And it's crazy how the weather just changes on a dime. And it's like, oh my goodness. But in the summer, it's always going to be hot in the south. But in the wintertime, you don't know. It might be 80 degrees on Christmas. <laughs> I have turned on the heat and air conditioning in the same day before. And I know if y'all are all from the south, I know y'all have too. Because um, that's just how it is. Oh, look at that. I didn't make a green one though. See, I did make a baby green. So I didn't want to use up all my green. Um, I have to make me a tall cactus. 60 tomorrow and Saturday. See, Lorraine, we're going to be 40 degrees in Mississippi, and y'all going to be 60 in Pennsylvania. That don't make any sense. Two. Hook, Hook Nook has them for $7.99. Do they have free shipping? Yeah, Dawn, we can have all the seasons in one day. Literally, all the seasons. It looks like cactus fruit. <laughs> all right, let me make my green one while my eyeballs are... My cactus eyes are drying. All the time, yes. We can literally have the air on in the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day, you have the heat on. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. We don't ever know what we're going to get. 31, and it's supposed to be in minus 22. Jane, so y'all having a heat wave right now. Goodness gracious. Okay. There's my green. I had to balance it out. Oh, look at the green. Look how cute. I just put them all together, neutral and everything. Aren't they cute? <laughs> They're just, they just make me happy. I'm sorry. They look like little um, dandelions. I was going to say moms, but... That's not what I'm thinking about. Carnations or something? The, I don't know. They look like little balls. Okay, let's see if his eyes are dry. Yeah, they are. Or her eyes or his eyes or something. Oh, y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They need to be a little bit bigger. But, y'all, I can't even. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't help it, y'all. Look how stick and adorable that is. But they need to be bigger. <laughs> so maybe we aren't the only ones that have crazy weather. Okay, Tammy just posted the hook nook. The hook nook is going to be like, where are all these people coming from buying these pom-pom makers? The giant ones. <laughs> y'all, look at him. Look at his eyes. <laughs> look into my eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pam's like, can you hear me clapping? No, I haven't made all, I made these this afternoon. And this is not even all of them. I made this the other day, but that the other day. But this one, 
I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm, <laughs> he needs some, he needs, um, he needs some big eyes like this, right? <laughs> y'all can't help it. He needs some big old eyes. <laughs> Put some toothpicks sticking out. Oh yeah, that'll look cute for little, little prickly things. Nancy, I am. It just makes me happy. I, you know, it's like, um, it's stinking adorable. Look <laughs> at Emily's got her little cactuses all up there. I know, Judy. Everybody needs a laugh and just have fun and not be so serious about your crafting and just have fun. If this makes you happy, I mean, somebody might go, "Oh my gosh, she's making pom poms." That's like old and ancient pom poms. But you know what? I had no in. The night that we uh, did those with the little envelopes and the pom-poms for the banner, I did not think in a million years that y'all were going to be so excited about those pom-pom makers, about these, as I was. I was just going to show y'all how to do it and then move on. And then y'all all were like, oh my gosh, those are so cool. Where'd you get those? I got to have them. And then it just kind of went from there. And now it's just like, but that's how I roll though. Like, I'll find something that I really like and I just get on it and I'll just do it and do it and do it and do it and find out how to do it this way and 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 whatever my interest is at the moment and then two weeks from now it'll be something else but I'll come back to this and use this for another craft or something else that we do put them on the corners of your pillows get one of those pillow covers from Hobby Lobby you know the one I'm talking about where I did the heart on it and glue these to it, just like randomly all over your pillow cover. How cute is that? People pay big money at Home Goods and stuff for pillows that look like that. Just pom poms. I saw a lot of pom poms at Market uh, on pillows and everything else. And just um, the hangy thing that we made for Valentine's Day with the hearts, stuff like that. That kind of boho looking macrame stuff. They have pom poms. Um, somebody said, What did I use for the antennas? These are Christmas pipe cleaners. <laughs> and they're not even glued in. They're just stuck in there. Because <laughs> they just kind of stay. Rita, yes. I love the pom pom. I'm just telling you, there's so much uses. Like, some, a lady in the group, she made like 25 of these for her granddaughter's, uh, granddaughter's class at school. She had all of these pom poms on her whole table of these little guys. Her whole table was covered with them, and I saw the picture. I instantly just started beaming. I was like, oh my gosh, look how sick and cute they are. <laughs> I can't help it. So, I just love them. Cute caterpillar. Yes, if you took the all these pom-poms and glued them together like this and made a, a caterpillar, how cute would that be? Um, I've got a... Um, I always go overboard and I love it. That's funny, Catherine. You're my you're my BFF, right? Because um, I'm going to like do all the ins and outs about it. But like I said, you know, I don't want y'all to go spend $11 on pom-pom makers and we do one craft. And that's it. It's like, I want to show y'all all the stuff we can do with it because we want to get our money's worth, which I think that I have gotten my money's worth. I've got my money's worth out of this one today. Look at my tree. <laughs> I got a tree. <laughs> And I will try this again. I mean, I'll I'll put it away at some point, that pom-pom maker. And then one day I'm going to go, you know, I need the, I need a big something. And I'll go, oh, I got that pom-pom maker. I'll get it out and make a pom-pom for whatever it is. Um, West Tennessee. Okay, Tammy's asking her where you're from. What are the feet? Tracy, it is a piece of felt. And I cut it into a heart. And then I just cut the I just cut the point off the heart. That was it. Nothing fancy. And then so it's not too late for Valentine's if you got kids or grandkids. But look, see it's a heart. And I just cut off I cut off the point and made little feet. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, uh, it's felt though. It is felt. But you could do cardboard, you could do cardstock, you could do whatever on his feet, but that's felt. And then just pom pom, I mean, just um, uh, pipe cleaners. My husband had never heard uh, pipe cleaners called chenille stems because I was watching something and he was like, why does she keep saying chenille stems? And I said, because that's pipe cleaners. He goes, I never heard him call that. 
Yeah, Dan uh, Donna, the big one's five inches. Yes, I need to make the honeybee. I gotta figure out how to make the bee. I gotta practice. I got yellow and black. We're good with that. I gotta practice though. That tree looks just like a, I know, right? Look at it. He's kind of leaning. I may have to, my tree was kind of curved though, my little branch. But look how stinking cute. It's so cute. It looks just like a boxwood. Love bug. That's what I call them, my little love bugs. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you never know what you're going to need. You never know whatever. Okay, so I got to tell you all about this one. And then I'm going to show you all something, my, my kit that I'm fixing to release. Y'all just wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I hope that wasn't a piece of it that just went on the floor, and it was. But anyway, um, this yarn is, I got the label somewhere. It's this stuff. It's, I don't, I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. It looks like this. I'm reaching. It looks like this stuff, okay? It's got like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say. It just says happy, y'all. Happy song. I don't know. Anyway, I don't even. I got it somewhere. Clearance or something for something. Who knows? Anyways, it looks like this. Got like little pom poms on it or something. Okay, so I made a pom pom with it. Here it is. Ta da! And it's kind of. It's a little shady too, but you know, this cute. In case y'all get all that. Okay, let me go pick this up and see what fell and what happened. Hang on. Don't go nowhere. Oh, we're all good. Just the triangle popped off the back. It's okay. Okay, so this is my new set that I'm working on, my tear tray set, because I've had people ask for this, and this is why I am, my triangle just to come off the back. I pushed it off the table. Okay. Coffee, anyone? So that's what's hopefully gonna come out next week. I gotta start cutting a bunch of these. It says perk up, and there's a little coffee bean. And rise and grind. I'm gonna have a fun time. My, see, I pop, I, it fell off the table and I, my pop, triangle fell off the back. Um, coffee pot with coffee in it. See, isn't it cute? And I designed all of these because I like it to be unique to y'all. Hello, coffee. Cute. And then. Ugh. This is the tag. It says coffee time. And then there's a little bitty coffee cup for the, the to hang off the tassel. Cute. I even painted the back of that piece. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Oh, Debbie. Pom pom earrings. So yeah, so this is the new set that's coming out Monday. Because I've had a lot of people ask for coffee. And I think now's a good time before I start doing Easter and spring. <laughs> Karina's like, you're speaking my language. I know, I'm like, I like a creamer a lot more than I like coffee, I think. <laughs> I like the vanilla, the vanilla coffee, uh, creamer. <laughs> I'm excited not when I have to buy, you don't like coffee? Some people don't like coffee, but I just had a lot of requests for it. Um, and then after this, we're going straight into Easter and spring, and I've got some cute stuff planned. I've already started cutting it. So, um, cute, cute stuff. Sherry just made her first pom-pom. She's hooked. Sherry's going to be up all night watching the Olympics making pom-poms. And you're going to be covered with fuzz. <laughs> yes, coffee. I love the pot. See, it's like all these pieces. Isn't it cute? I love the coffee bean. See? <laughs> Perk up. And then hello, coffee. And so you get these little triangles to put on the back. So if you've gotten a kit from me and you don't know what those triangles are for, see, I didn't paint the back. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> That's what the triangles are for. So it'll stand up like that. And then I, this one dropped off the table and it popped off because I hit the floor, obviously. But I'm glad that's all it was because I can glue it right back on. Um, tea. Ooh, Patty. Tea. You know, teapot. Coconut creamer, Kaylee. Ugh. Vicky, I can do some more hard earrings. I can. Look. Hello, coffee. But this is so cute. I like the tag. So cute. And the little bitty cup that's on the tassel. 
so cute. So yes, so hopefully that's gonna go out Monday, I hope. I hope, uh oh, my cactus has bit the dust over here. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna get me some rocks and I'm gonna put him down in the pot like he's supposed to be. He needs a mouth, a little felt mouth. I like a little coffee with my creamer. That's me, vanilla, French vanilla. Amaretto and almond. Oh, I might have to try that. I'm not a hazelnut. Ooh, y'all. I'm not a hazelnut person. Uh, it's not in my shop yet. I just have to sneeze. It will, I will let y'all know when it's in my shop. Ooh. Ooh, almond joy creamer. I got, y'all, this table. Ugh. I am, I have to get the shop back and vacuum this all up. Yes, it's perfect for a coffee bar. See, I have a coffee bar, so I'm going to have to put it on my coffee bar and stage it. Yes, and so it'll be it'll be the set. It'll, it'll say, you know, you can get it with the beads or without. So, because some people already have the beads to make their own. The tag's my favorite too, Judy. But I, I kind of like the pot. Oh, gosh. I like the pot too. Yeah, Jackie, uh, some people in the group have made rugs. Um, the pink leopard earrings. Okay. I'll probably work on that this weekend. Oh, Judy, you had a bad day. I'm so sorry, but I hope you made you smile. Look at my pom-poms. Doesn't that make you smile, Judy? Isn't it cute? It's really cute. Look, look at my tree. You mean put eyeballs on my tree to make you smile? Wouldn't that be cute with eyeballs on it? <laughs> I'm making Judy laugh. Look, Judy, look into my eyes, Judy. Smile, Judy. It's going to be okay. <laughs> look into my eyes, Judy. <laughs> it doesn't change the taste of your coffee. Fruity Pebbles. Vicky, I was in Walmart, and I had to buy some syrup the other day. Uh, you know, I was grocery shopping. They have Fruity Pebbles syrup to put on your pancakes. Fruity pebbles on your pancakes. I don't know where that came from. Charlene, I use quarter inch birch plywood. It's not MDF, it's real wood. Um, as you can see, you can see it here on the back. It's real wood. So, I mean, it's gonna stand the test of time, I promise. Uh, yes, that's what I did, Holly. Look into my eyes, Judy. Look into my eyes. Smile, Judy. <laughs> you made peeps out of boas? Yes. Now, you cut some boas, you better do that stuff outside. I cut boas one time. The feather boas, it's just like, you just just like you hurt a big bird or something. It's all flying all around. <laughs> You're welcome, Laurie. Y'all are laughing at me. My cactus. Wait till I make him a little mouth and some felt and put his rocks in there. He's going to be, he is going to be high class cactus. <laughs> Fun fatty creamer. Kaylee, why do I not know about this? And her peeps are so cute, y'all. Oh, I need to see her peeps. Why have I not seen these boa peeps? Oh, Christy, you make me smile. Y'all make me smile. I just, y'all are my people. Like, Somebody else might not think that's funny, but I do. I just think it's hilarious. I'm just nerdy like that. I'm sorry. <sighs> Judy, always enjoy my time with you ladies. We're trying to make you smile, right? Yes, and they come unfinished. Um, this is just how I finished mine. But yes, it's all unfinished and raw like this. And you get to paint it any color you want. All that kind of stuff. And the beads will be raw, too. So, you can paint it any color you want to. Big bug holding a coffee cup. Cactus in the coffee cup. Oh, he would be cute in a coffee cup. <laughs> Surely. I just, sometimes I just, stuff makes me happy. And I just, uh, I don't know. I can't help it. It just bubbles out. Somebody said drumstick uh, creamer. I saw that, and they have all these kinds. And I will not let myself try them because I know when I do, 
it'll be, I'll instantly like it and I don't need to. <laughs> Nancy the cactus is the cutest. Oh, Charlene, you're so sweet. Y'all make me smile too. I love the time that I get to spend with y'all. I really, really do. And the gang. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of a gang here going on. Can y'all some, put some uh, googly eyes on him? <laughs> Carla, love watching you. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, you, you're new and you just stumbled on my page and I'm the crazy, uh, well, this this month, I'm the crazy pom-pom person. Um, yeah, my texting service, if you'll text join to that number on your phone, um, you'll know when I go live because I always text and tell you when the shop's restocked or I'm going live. Uh, <laughs> Charlene said the cactus winked at her look. <laughs> It's good. It's limited time. No. Oh, the creamer. Of course it is. They want you to run out and go buy it and make you think it's going away. I mean, sometimes it does, but I never saw the Little Debbie ice cream. I still don't know if that's a real thing or not because I never saw it. <laughs> uh, Kathy. Kathy, you ought to be around me and Lindy and Elizabeth, our friend Elizabeth. It's, it's probably embarrassing to some people. <laughs> Because <laughs> we laugh and just carry on um, the pom-pom gang. Okay, I know what I had to tell y'all. Because I told my friend Kelly today, I went to lunch with her today. And I said, Kelly, I want y'all to know, I went to the Dollar Tree today. And I, I come back and got in my car. Well, I'm parked right out front. And the glass windows, you know, right there and sidewalk and then at my car and I'm sitting there and I look up and you know how they have the the tree the Dollar Tree symbol which is that round tree with the lines going through it and then the black trunk on the tree did you know that the trunk of that tree is the number one yeah look it up go google it google the image and look at it blew my mind I usually notice this kind of stuff. How did I not know that that was a one that was the trunk of the tree? Y'all gonna go look it up and you're gonna be like, it is, it's a one. Cause I, I told Kelly when she got in the car, I was like, Kelly, let me just tell you this. I figured this out today. And she looked, she looked it up and she looked and she went, oh my gosh, it is, it's a one. I said, yes. She goes, I didn't know that. I'm like, I didn't either. It just dawned on me today when I come out of the Dollar Tree, I was like, that's a one in that trunk there. <laughs> Lee and somebody's been looking for the ice cream. I haven't seen it. <laughs> you saw that one. Yes, this the subscription is going to open March 1st. Um, if you're on the wait list, you'll get the email, and the people on the wait list will get to join first. Um, I'll have to post the link again. Uh, I did it about a week or so ago. Barb, did you know that it was a one? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to open on the 1st of March. A pom-pom caterpillar. Yes, Kathy, that's what we said. All the colors all stuck together. Did y'all know that that was a one, though, right? Yeah, and they're... Um, Kaylee, that's what I said. I said... Is the trunk of the tree going to be a one? And then they're going to put like a little rabbit and a squirrel and it's going to be a two and a five? I mean, what are they going to do? I know they don't have to add it, but, the, but did y'all know that that was a one? Am I like me and Kelly are the only two people in the whole world? Now, I knew FedEx has the arrow. Now, my husband works for FedEx, but I did know that. And then Amazon has A to Z, the, the little smiley, the arrow, A to Z. Um, see, Nancy, it is a one. And me and Kelly cannot be the only two people in the world that didn't know that. See, okay, Terry is in the one club. We didn't know. <laughs> Jane, it is a one. I'm like, how did I know that? Yes, Carla, pom-pom gnome. You know, I did the little hats, the little toboggan hats with the toilet paper rolls. And these are the beard. Like, stick it down on top of it like a beard. Okay, Karen knew it. Karen. 
<laughs> Karen knew it. Okay, Ann is in the one club because Ann didn't know either. Connie is going to look. Everybody's Googling it now to see. Oh, Pam's in the club. She didn't know it was a one. Hey, Maria. Then Maria is new from Illinois. Did you know that the trunk of the tree and the Dollar Tree little symbol, the tree, the trunk is a one? Did you know this? <laughs> Elisa did not know. Reese's Creamer. Oh, my gosh. Y'all gonna make me... Count you in the club, too. Mary, Mary Lou did not know it was a one. Angie did not know. Reed did not know. And I don't know why today of all days, I just looked up and looked at that symbol and I went, that's a one. <laughs> so they're going to have to put a .25 out beside there. I just never pay attention to it. I just knew it was a tree, a round tree. And then... Oh, Siri is telling you where to buy it. Judy, I hadn't either. I never paid attention. But usually I catch stuff like that. And I I caught it today, but I did not know that. Uh, hope they change their logo. They're going to have to. They'll have to call it the dollar 25 tree. Dollar quarter, dollar quarter tree? I don't know. See, Lillian's like, I learned something new today. It's a one. I know, right? I had to tell y'all about it because I was just like, it's a one. <laughs> the ass and snowball had a ranch on it. Linda. <laughs> they hide that little stuff in their logos and you're like, I mean, how long has Dollar Tree been around? And I just now found that out today. I'm today years old when I found out that it's a one. <laughs> Yes, candy. Everybody's like digging out their stuff looking. I don't even have a bag around here. I, I would show y'all, but yes, it's a one. Yep, Donna's in the club. Yeah, they could. They could put two little birds in the tree or they could just put it by the on the ground and make a rabbit and a squirrel. Are they going to ask us? Because I got, I got ideas. Lorraine's look. Everybody's got a Dollar Tree bag. How hilarious is this? And everybody's running to go look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So Cindy, I was wondering that too because the one I was in today, they had little tags everywhere that said one twenty-five, and then I got on the food aisle, and it's still a dollar. I was like, wait a minute, is everything not one twenty-five? I thought everything was one twenty-five, but must not be. A spoon? Okay, now I got to look at the spoon. I know there's an arrow, but I didn't know there was a spoon. Can you show the gnome you made? Now, this gnome, that gnome, I did not make that one. A follower made that one and sent it to me. Everybody's looking at their bag. <laughs> now, Tammy's like, I can't unsee it. Oh, they're $1.50 in Chicago and bigger cities? Oh, my goodness. No, Barb. No, it's not. They're dollars? Okay, I got to go look at it again. <laughs> Snowball fight. Snowball fight! <laughs> Good night, Rhonda. Some stuff is more. I've just seen the dollar twenty-five. It's the only thing I've seen on mine, but um, but yeah, some stuff was lower than a dollar twenty-five. The canned goods or whatever. They're gonna have a weekly special. <laughs> Them ribeye steaks for a dollar, right? <laughs> Has anybody eaten those? <laughs> the ribeye steaks for a dollar. Gnome on the top shelf. That shelf. Well, I mean, I made both of them. But, <clears throat> yes, there's a couple of videos on how to make these guys. And they're not as hard as you think they are. I've made, I've made them a couple of times live. And it's made out of air dry clay. And it's so much fun. Let's see. Here's a little baby one. Isn't it cute? See, I put little hearts on their hineys. <laughs> That's just like my little thing that I do. 
because I used to sell them, make them and sell them at a vendor booth. Pom Pom City, Benita, welcome. We're in Pom Pom City. Erica, I live um, in Hernando, Mississippi, which is right, I live right below Memphis, but I'm in Mississippi. Would love to see the bunnies that I made. See, I want a dollar plus, and I don't know where there's one close to me, and I want to go to one. I keep seeing all these, these uh, grand pictures of the dollar plus stores, and I have yet to be in one. And the pop shelf. I want to go to a pop shelf. And there's one like an hour, a little over an hour away from me in Dyersburg, Tennessee. And me and Lindy want to make a trip and go and like go live in there and show y'all the store. The steaks are good, Dawn, on a hoagie roll. $1.50 in Ontario. Oh, so it's a $1.50 store. Yeah, it, and, and you know, if it went up to $1.25, it's probably going to go up a little more, I bet. But everything's gone up. You can't get anything for a dollar anymore. You're welcome, Tammy. Yeah, Sonia, I want to I wanna go in a Dollar Tree Plus. I just don't know where there is one close to me. And I don't know how you search to find where the closest one is to you. I don't know. The brown gnome. Below the mailbox. Oh. Where'd it go? He's somewhere. He, this one looks just like him, though. Um... This one looks just like him, but he's just painted different. This is what, um, when you signed up for my, my subscription box, you got him. YouTube page she has done, too. Yeah, if you, if you go to YouTube, you can find the videos a little easier. But um, they're all there, except for the last, like, couple of weeks they aren't in there. Oh, you went to a pop shelf? Yeah, somebody in the, we talked about it in the subscription group. Right, Gail? I was like, I... Your family dollar store. Yes. Everything's dollar twenty-five. Yeah, everything changed at my Dollar Tree. And then I went to Memphis to that big Dollar Tree up there, and everything was still a dollar this past weekend, whatever day I was there. Um, so, it everything was still a dollar, and I was like, wow. Three and five dollar items. You're welcome, Darlene. Thank you for being here. Erica loves Pop Shelf. I haven't been in one, and I want to go in one. Thank you, Tammy. Um, the pop shelf is kind of like Dollar General, but everything's like ten dollars and under or something. But from pictures I've seen, they got some pretty cute stuff, and the craft stuff is really cute too. They got some good stuff. See, I haven't seen a three and five dollar one yet. The plus. I want to find the plus. <laughs> what is in the green shelf? This over here. That's my little nutty nutcracker that me and Lindy did at Christmas time with his little bobbed off hair. <laughs> Don't even get me started with that hair. <laughs> me and Lindy did these at Christmas. They were just plain wood and we painted them and decorated them up and we put them in a Dollar Tree vase and made like a little, like a little cloche. And he's just still sitting down here from Christmas because he's all proud and cute down there. Pop Shelf is a spinoff of Dollar General. Yes, I want to go in one really bad. Barbara's like, it's amazing. I want to go in one. See, they only have a few and they're like, slowly they're, Get more, but the closest one to me is in Dyersburg because I've looked it up because I want to go. I told Lindy, I said, We're going on a road trip, we're going to Dyersburg. She's like, What for? And I said, We're going to Pop Shell. She's like, What's that? And I had to show her pictures, and she was like, Oh, yeah, we need to go there. It's kind of like a five below, Bobby, yes, yeah, sort of, but everything's like, Is it ten dollars and under? I think. <laughs> DT will until all the inventory has been deleted. Depleted. Oh, you live about 45 minutes from Dodge Bar. We need to go to Pop Shelf and check it out. Let us know. Janice, that live was hilarious with the Nutcracker. Yes. Y'all, she had to get up from the table 
<laughs> because I was singing um, Foncy, because we were saying how Foncy our little um, nutcrackers were Foncy, Fancy. And I got to singing Fancy by Reba, and she got so tickled. She literally had to get up and leave the table. She was so tickled. I thought she was going to wet her pants. Oh. Yeah, Dollar Tree bought out, or Family Dollar, one of the two. Bought out one of their. Night, Grace. Yeah, I went to try to find out where they were, and I... I even Googled, how do you find out where the Dollar Tree Plus are? I, I've Googled it and everything. I can't figure out how, you know, like where the closest one to me is. and Because I've never been to one. Yes, Wiley, I'm going to make Easter crafts. We're going to make bunnies and chicks and all kinds of stuff. Oh, Tara, I'm glad you're here. Good night. Have a good night. Karen's got one. I know I want to go. Pop shelf. Is all yeah, me too, Gloria. Bucket list. <laughs> I want to go to pop shelf. Doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> Thank you, Barb. Yes, Dana the Nutcracker was hilarious. Ten higher than $10. Oh, so you were disappointed, Linda? Oh, Della, I'm glad I did. I made my own night because this was like so much fun in my little my little cactus with the eyes. I just hope Judy feels better. Look in my eyes. Oh, it's better than a five below. I gotta check it out. Stacy's got a pop shelf. I need to ask her about it. Oh, Brenda, you can always go back and watch the replay. We just made pom-poms and we made a tree. Look at my tree. That is a massive pom-pom. Isn't it cute? Look, it's yarn. It looks like a boxwood little tree, and it's not. Deidre would be so proud of my little toe berry, as she calls them. Toe berries. <laughs> Dana's like, watch the replay. Is it going? Owen's broken it, and to get that little saw, it was 37 Oh, y'all talking about the little saw now. Okay, they're in the south mostly. Well, they're, uh, they're not anyone close to me, but I, except for Dyersburg, that's the closest one. Hello, went to a town and it said they had one. Maybe, maybe they were just like about to build it, maybe, or something. Close posture. Okay, Tammy said the closest one would be Dyersburg. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I think they are. I think they're just, there's not many of them, but I'm hoping that they're rolling them out. No pop shelf in Utah. Well, see, there's no 99 cent store here either, and they're like out west. Um, I see people going to that all the time, and I'm like, oh, we don't have that here. That's not fair. I want a 99 cent store. Oh, thank you. Is it Lise? Thank you, Lise. A little saw is awesome. Yes. And Elise, you need to get a pom-pom maker so you can just be in pom-pom land with the rest of us. Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. I'm just hoping. Look, Tammy's got the address. <laughs> Tammy's like, we're going to Dyersburg. <laughs> Dana, I know you don't have a pop shelf. Y'all don't even have a shelf. <laughs> um, and it is Germantown, and it's on Exeter Road. It's the only one in Germantown. So, if you look up Germantown Dollar Tree, it'll take you there. Um, 99 cent store in Colorado. Maybe California? They're, I know they're out west somewhere. 99 cent stores. My cactus, I just trimmed up a pom-pom. I trimmed it up a whole lot because this is the rest of him down here. Um, I just trimmed it up to where it kind of looks like a cactus. And then I made a little bitty pom-pom and trimmed it way down for the little flower thing. And I glued it to his head. And those are little uh, straight pins that I colored black for his eyes. <laughs> I'm like to find him some better eyes. I have to work on him tomorrow. Ah, 
So Stacy's been in a pop shelf. Oh, I might have to ask her about that. No way, all the pom pom makers are so much fun. But you can pull it out and make, you know, for, can you see these on a Christmas tree? Or on your presents, make pom poms and hang them off your presents and stuff. Frost white color glaze glued it to the rhinestone in the middle. Okay, Red in California to a 99 cent store. I know they have them out there somewhere. And they have good stuff too that I've seen. Pam's been up since 3.30 this morning. You making pom-poms and watching the Olympics, Pam? You better go to bed. Don't make no pom-poms tonight. Okay, so pop shell. Okay, pom-pom thing. All right, so here, somebody's asking to see them. So here's this size. It's two. Y'all, there's so much stuff on this table. I'm being taken over by pom-poms. Okay, where's the little one? Oh, big one. All right, this is three and three-eighths, okay? This one's two. I think it's two and three-eighths. Don't quote me, though, but it's like two and three-eighths. And then this one made all of these, except the green one. But, so, that's that size. And then there's this baby one, and it made... This little green one here, I think. So, yeah. And then the big behemoth is five inches that I found today. I was so excited. I didn't know what I was doing live. I kind of eh, kind of did. And then I saw that big pom-pom maker. I said, oh, no, that's it. We're doing that live tonight. 30 minutes from you. No, you're not making pom-poms tonight, Pam. She stayed up late and watched the Olympics. Yeah, you can put them on picture frames. You can make a, like, thread your string, like somebody said, and make a banner with them. All kinds of stuff. And I've done several other videos, if you haven't seen them. I made a Valentine's hanging thing that had hearts and pom-poms. I made a banner for my mantle that has pom-poms on it. Um... Oh, you heard it was a trial thing. Okay. West Virginia has Ollie. We have Ollie's too. Not, I don't have it close to me. There's one in Memphis, but back where I'm from in Meridian, Mississippi, they have one. <laughs> Candy said, I'm getting my pom-pom maker this weekend. Sheila, you can make a rabbit out of any of them. Um, this is, I would probably start with this size, which is that, that. This one. This is like the second two and three eighths or something. I mean, you can make it as big as you want to. I don't know, Donna. We might do pom poms Monday night. I don't know. The big one. I just happened to stumble on it today in um, Tuesday mornings. I found two of them, and that was it. <clears throat> Myron's going to Tuesday morning tomorrow. They have cute napkins, too. Look at the napkins in Tuesday morning. And they have, like, cool art, I mean, craft supplies. You just have to look. They have stamps and paper, scrapbook paper and stuff. Um, I like to just go in there and look and see what they have because you never know. I like Ollie's. It's kind of a cool store. Link to my web page. Um, I have a shop, and then I have a website, which is my blog. Um... I don't know where the model Dollar Tree stores is. The lady just told me the other day when I was in there. I was like, yeah, this is like the best one around here. She said, yeah, we're a model store. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, Tammy, is your grandbaby waving? Hey. I'll wave back at your grandbaby. Hey. Um, Phyllis, you can get them on Amazon. These, the this whole set is on Amazon for like $11 or something. And then, um... This big one, I just happened to find it at Tuesday mornings. But they say it's on Amazon, too. Or you can go to the hook, nook.com, I think they said. And they have them there. But they're all just fun. I just like talking to y'all. But I've got to get off and go inside and see what my people are doing. Yeah, it depends on how big of a bunny you want to make. You, I'll probably make, like, this size. And some felt and this. 
So I had to match my felt with my yarn to make sure he matches. <laughs> Rita just come on and went, girl, you done went pom-pom crazy. Look, look at my tree, Rita. That's a pom-pom. Look at it. Isn't it cute? I want to make another one. Jenny is the turquoisevalentine.com. That one's easy. Oh, look, Tammy's got the, the link for the giant pom-pom maker. Those people at the hook nook come in. <laughs> like, why are people buying this gigantic pom-pom man? Um, Linda, the best place is probably YouTube. Because they're all labeled, and which they are on Facebook too. But they're easier to find there. But you, whatever. Aw, Tammy, he waved back. But they're here too. You just have to scroll back. But it was, it was last spring when I did it. There's a pre-recorded video, and then there is a just a regular live where I did the flowers. Yeah, Tupelo has a Ollie's. Yeah, Sally, watch the replay. Look at this big pom-pom. And look at this cactus with the eyes. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with pom-poms tonight, if you can tell. Yeah, if you go to my main page... And there's a little button that says photos. You'll click on photos. A little drop down should drop down. And it says videos. Click on videos. And then you should see the whole list of everything I've ever done. Um, Janice, I'll post about the, um, the wait list. I'll post about that tomorrow. Because it's on down on my page. If you go to my main page and scroll down, like, it may have been last week when I posted it. The link's there. Um, yeah, Brittany, you're going to make you a, a banner with pom-poms? How big are the big pom Five inches. Is, this is what this made. So, it's a five-inch maker. And if you, if you get one, go back and watch the beginning of this video because I kind of tell you what not to do because I had the first one I did like this. I opened up the pom-pom maker and it all fell apart. Um, because you just have to go watch the beginning. So you need to tie it like three different strings to tie the middle. And then when you take it apart, you need to tie another string around it because it's really loose in the middle and it'll fall apart. Oh, look, Tammy's done went and found the, the tutorial and everything. I know, Terry, it's addicting, right? Look at me. <laughs> it keeps me sane though, right? Oh, look, Tammy's got... That's the flower video right there. Thank you, Tammy. What green yarn did I use for the tree? I went to Joann's today because they were having their yarn palooza or whatever they call it. And it's the Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver. And it says on the back, green tones. And then it's written in Spanish. But it's just green tones. I just went down the aisle. This is probably... This was like $3.29 or something like that. It was... Their most inexpensive yarn they have. Um, so, because I'm just real frugal like that. <laughs> and I thought this was perfect. The variegated was perfect for that tree. And I was right. Because it looks like a topiary tree. And it's not. It's a pom-pom. But the variegated makes it look so cool. Looks like a boxwood to me. Um, Christine... So, when it, right before it opens, I'll send an email to people on the wait list. And it's, it'll say, you know, hey, it's going to open up March 1st at this such and such time. And then, the people on the wait list will know first. So, it'll open up on the 1st. And the wait list people will have that information. And then, if, if it doesn't fill up, then like the next day or whatever, I'll post it to my main page on here. So, the wait list people will find out first. Uh, Myron, sometimes they have craft stuff. It's just hit or miss. It's kind of like a closeout store, like Big Lots or something. It's kind of like that. So. Yes, the, fl <laughs> the flowers are probably as bad as these are. They're, you're going to want to make flowers in every color, every size. Uh, this fabric, that fabric, this fabric, that fabric. And you can make baby pom-poms to go in the centers of your flowers. <laughs> Yeah, just go to Facebook, or you can even, um, if you, uh, 
tap my face maybe or s scroll up from here i don't know there should be the title of the video should come up and then it'll say the turquoise valentine and you can click that and it'll take you to my main page um kathy i'll post the link tomorrow but if you look back on my main page about a week or so ago i posted about the the wait list um I, it's like a landing page that I created for you to go there and it just asks for your email and I'll send you an email when it's going to open like the day before. And then with, you know, and then I'll send it, um, the day it opens, I'll send it with a link that you go to, to open it and what time it's going to open or whatever. Nancy's been making flowers all day. She's getting on them. She's getting a kickstart. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. It was good talking to y'all. I love sitting here talking to y'all because um, I don't hardly ever get to do that. But anyway, so I'm going to hop off and go see what my family is doing. Um, I still see fuzz floating all around. I'm going to go probably take a shower or something to get all this fuzz off of me. Um, and I will see y'all Monday night. And we probably, I don't know if we're doing, doing pom-poms. We'll probably do pom-poms. Um... Uh, Betty, click, um, when you go to YouTube, it'll say something, and then click videos, and it, all of them should come up. Good night, Terry. You too, Judy. Hope your shoulder's doing good. All right, guys, I will see y'all Monday night. Y'all have a good, blessed weekend, and don't make too many pom-poms. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>